Welcome back guys. I just want to give you a fresh update on the engine. Uh, managed to put basically the whole thing together. Um, I'm going to show you specifically what it's missing and why it's missing. I'm going to explain that on the way. Uh, but finally I'm done. It took me a good couple months because I was waiting on the parts. I was uh, um, studying, you know, um, how to how to get the um, uh, the rings perfectly um, basically I had to relearn the whole thing how to build an engine but I'm basically done uh, the next thing is gonna be uh, probably taking the engine uh, where the cars at and installing it over there I'm not gonna bring it back it's a it's a long story don't even ask me about it um, okay here you go guys let's check out on the engine and here we go i just installed the intake um i managed to time the uh, the belt like twice because the first time uh it was the the wrong way and i had to take it apart and put it back together i already installed a uh, uh, really cheap stp uh, um oil filter i still have to remove this uh, little shaft what the um, uh, mechanic put over here so um, um, the tensioner is not gonna move around uh, basically this is the the old pulley everything is is what you see is here is is old um, on this side of the engine as you can see the fresh uh, core plugs it's installed um, I still haven't installed um, the AC compressor and the power steering because the power steering is attached to the car. Um, I might gonna install the AC um, while it's here, but as you can see, the whole engine is together except the the exhaust header, and the reason for that is because um, I'm gonna have more more space without. Um, to play in the engine so uh, yeah basically that's it the whole engine is as you can see in the kitchen and uh, the reason for that is because this fucking dog doesn't want to shut up it's because um, uh, this is where I can work on the engine I don't have a, a really um, like uh, wind tight space or or uh, uh, a space where uh, where I can work with the engine internals without being exposed to the weather so i was like why not as you can see there's still a bunch of um, accessories over there and uh, parts for the car a uh, bunch of tools everywhere bunch of tools on the on the table as well still but since the engine is finally done i can uh, just you know clean everything make sure that uh, um, nicely put together. I still have to think about it uh, if I want to put more things on it. Um, probably I'm going to cover the, the holes for the, uh, for the injectors because I don't want to, uh, um, don't want any, any dirt to go in there. Uh, that's it guys the engine is finally done for the second time hopefully this is the last time when I have to really work on it like like this maybe just uh, maintaining it hopefully um, see you guys when I'm going to put it together and that's gonna be hopefully this weekend so in just um, a couple of days but for you guys it's gonna be like the the next weekend because i'm usually um, uploading new videos on every every sunday um yeah i went AWOL for the last couple of months because i was just uh you know preparing this whole thing and um also just concentrating on life itself um and uh making sure that i'm not spending a lot a lot of money because I spent a lot of money on this car. Don't even ask how much because I still have no clue. Um, Alright guys, see you in the next video when I'm installing the engine. Or maybe after it's already done. Because basically, uh, basically this is the same thing uh, what I did last time when I was installing the engine back into the car. So I might not gonna show you that. But I definitely show you once I'm already uh, ready to uh, 
ready to drive the car with the brand new paint with the with the fresh engine see you guys in the next video and have a great week bye